fire. I'll do your backside if you don't get this lot cleared up pretty sharpish. The place is a tip. I want it looking nice when Mr Huckleberry gets here. You do know who Mr Huckleberry is, don't you? Never heard of him. Who is he? He is the stinking rich client who's going to step through that door any minute and think he's arrived at the National Filth Museum. <coughs> now, you've got two minutes to get this hall looking spotless, OK? Angelo, quick! Oh, don't worry. This is a job for my Sammy Sweeper Mark III. The speedy way to a spotless home. Ah, oh, switch it off! Switch it off! And Travis B. Huckleberry in the third, looking for a... <laughs> what? Kind of a cock and Amy, welcome to call this. Oh, we were just having a wee tidy up in your honour, sir. And oh, Mr. Huckleberry's hat. Oh, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Toledo! Look at that monstrous machine has done to my $500 Stetson. Oh, come on. It's not all doom and gloom. At least your toupee stayed put. <laughs> what? Ignore him. He's crazy in the head. Nobody can tell it's a wig, honest. It um, why don't we step through to the kitchen? <laughs> I've taken again you in a big way, fella. Travis B. Huckleberry never forgets a face. And you, well, you just better keep yours right out of my way, or there's gonna be trouble with me. <laughs> Wonderful. It's a bunch. That's got me off to a real flying start. Should we finish tidying up? No! You've helped quite enough, thank you. Now just go in there, watch a video or something, and please, please keep right out of Mr. Huckleberry's way. Oh. So then, ha, shall we get down to business? That is what I am here for, Miss Andrews. Take a seat, Mr. Huckleberry. Make yourself comfortable. Okay, shoot. What ideas do you have to publicize the launch of my all-American ice cream over here in England? Uncle Sam says your tummy needs Huckleberry's all-American ice cream. Nah. It's old fashioned. Oh, I see. Well then, we can just wave our goodbye to that idea. <laughs> nah. The turn of the pod zombies three. Seen it. Mm. What's this? Stairway to the stars? Oh yeah. That was the time I was on the TV show. You were on Stairway to the Stars? I don't believe it. Oh, it's true. Oh, my 15 minutes of fame. Oh, me up there on the stage. The lights, the makeup, the audience. You don't seem to realize, Mike. Not so long ago, I was a major star. Okay, Twinkle. Let's see what all the fuss was about. <laughs> so, uh, we get a big celebrity like uh, Madonna or um, Carol Vorderman to dress up as the Statue of Liberty and, um, uh, <laughs> Mr. Huckleberry, you okay? Yeah, yeah. Swell, honey, real nice. And the slogan could read, Statue? No, stats me. And I always eat. <laughs> see, that's a wee pun there, you see. It's all inspiring. Oh. Breathtaking. It's stupendous. Oh, get away with you. I was just saving the best to the last. I am thunderstruck. I say thunderstruck. That is a knockout. Please, you're starting to make me blush. Not you. That. That. What? Listen. Don't you hear it? Don't you hear it? Walk away. Rodeo, no, 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 no. What do you think, then? Angelo, that was really good. Ah! Good! Good! It was sensational. Overwhelming. Phenomenal. Uh, Mr. Huckleberry. Miss Andrews, that is the guy. And that's the song I want to launch my million-dollar campaign. Oh, no, you don't understand. It has everything. It's catchy. It's fresh. And like my ice cream, it's 100% all-American. Let me just... So, what's the name of this? I'm looking Yankee hunk with a golden dance. His name's Hank Sinatra. I like it. Can't wait to meet this crooning cowboy who is spearheading my nationwide promotion. Get on that phone and get this Sinatra guy round here pronto. Uh, oh, uh, 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 Mr. Chucklebutty. Huckleberry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Why don't I just call you Wiggy? Dad! Uh, look, it's about this Hank Sinatra. Listen up, fella. Did I make it? 
perfectly clear before that I didn't like your face. Well, I still don't like it, and it's starting to stir my bile with me. With you. Wonderful. Okay, son, run that tape by me one more time. Angelo. Before you say one word, my job is hanging by a thread here. If I can't come up with goods, I am out on my ear hole. And coming up with the goods means providing him in there with Hank Sinatra. So, what do you think? I think he's a great big bully. Angelo, I'm leading with you here. Help me out, pal. I mean, just because he's stinking rich, ordering people about like that. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. But if you do... I mean, did you hear the way that he spoke to me in there? Oh. It's not nice, and it's not necessary. No, no, there are principles at stake here, Katie. I cannot possibly work for a man like that. You get to dress up in your natty cowboy suit with the tassels and wear makeup. <laughs> I'll be back before you can say ten gallon hat. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's a genius. When am I going to meet him? Uh, he should be here any minute, Mr. Huckleberry. I'll go and see if he's coming. Back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, howdy there, folks. Hey, do I have the honor of addressing the illustrious Mr. Travis B. Huckleberry III? Indeed you have, good sir. Indeed you have. Put it there, son. <laughs> I'm mighty pleased you could get here so fast. Well, I got the call. I jumped straight on my horse, and I rode like the wind. I'd have been here quicker if I could have found myself a parking meter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love this boy. This boy's not only funny, he's gonna make me money. Now, listen up, bud, about this little number of yours. Reckon you can rework it? Uh, re rework it? Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm crazy about the song. Melody is exquisite. Beat is toe-tapping. Just the lyrics need a little fine-tuning. The lyrics? No mention of ice cream. We have got a product to sell. Oh, now, wait a second here. You want me to write new words to my little bitty song? No problem, Mr. Huckleberry. Uh, but, but, Good old Hank will knock you off a couple of verses by tomorrow morning, won't you, Hank? Will I? Yes, you will. That's what I'm wanting to hear. Kitty. <laughs> Great doing business with you folks. We are going to have ourselves one home dinger of a campaign. <laughs> Katie, Katie. Before I go, I have one more thing to say to that Angelo character. Angelo? The geek with a grin? Get him here, quick. Um, Hank, uh, would you go upstairs and tell Angelo to come down here, please? But I'm all already... right. will, yeah? Mr. Huckleberry wants to see Angelo. Oh, yeah, I get it. I mean, I'll just mosey on upstairs, see if I can find a little critter. <laughs> Fine-looking boy. Like the sun I never had. Yes, he's a little treasure, isn't he? <laughs> oh, you wanted to see me, Mr. Muckleboobie? Not Muckleboobie, Chucklebunny! I mean, Huckleberry. Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so, what's the beef, Chief? Watch my lips, bud. I'll be back tomorrow. And if you're intending to live to a ripe old age, stay right out of my fizz, mister. Catch my drift? Aggressive, very aggressive. I blame the fumes from the wig adhesive. <laughs> Bye-bye now. Hold your horses, gal. Ain't said goodbye to Hank. Hank? Can't go without saying a fond farewell to my favorite song, Smith. Uh, uh, Angelo, would you pop upstairs and get Hank, please? You yeah. must be I know. Mr. Huckleberry is a very busy man. Not half as busy as I am. <laughs> that boy is as crazy as a raccoon in a revolving door. <laughs> uh, uh, Mr. Huckleberry. Okay, son. You look kind of windy. Oh, well, uh, you caught me smack dab in the middle of a create off deluge. <laughs> hey, when those lyrics start a sluicing and a sloshing around this old hat, <laughs> it's all I can do to get them down on paper. Right? Excellent, excellent. You carry on, son. I'll be back in the morning. I'll see you out, Mr. Huckabetty. Well, be seeing you folks. Bye bye, day. Oh. Huckleberry, Huckleberry, full of cherry, Huckleberry, Huckleberry. That is brilliant. I could kiss you. He's going to love it to pieces. Mm. 
You know, Katie, I'm just not sure that I approve of this crass commercial exploitation of my musical masterpiece merely to plug Raspberry Ripple. Angelo, for years they've been using songs to sell everything from cars to cornflakes. Yeah, I know, Katie, but you don't understand. <gasps> no, no. <I'm... gasps> He's here. He's here. Stay calm. Stay cool. Uh... Relax. Good morning. And where's my little southern songbird this morning? Oh, there he is. Howdy, Mr. Uh, H.B. Hank's made you this tape of the song, Mr. Huckleberry. Oh, wait till you hear it. It is absolutely brilliant. Well, why don't we hear it from the maestro himself? <gasps> Come on, Mr. Music Man. My ears await with bated breath. <laughs> okay. Well, let's do her, son. Huckleberry, huckleberry, full of cherry, huckleberry, huckaboo. I won't forget when we first met at the rodeo. You stood alone, you held a cone pistachio. I had a rum and raisin hot fudge nut sundae. And a 10 gallon tub of my favorite grub from the good old USA. On that first date, we shared a plate of tutti frutti. My ice cream melted like my heart when you called me cutie. Before the night was out, I had me fiance. Hey, hey. And another 10 gallon tub of my favorite grub from the good old USA. Another 10 gallon tub of my favorite grub from the good old USA. Huckleberry, huckleberry, full of cherry, huckleberry, huckleberry. Huckleberry's all American ice cream. Why, it's Yankee Doodle Delish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the boy opens his throat, and the voice of an angel flies out. Oh, did you like it? Did you like it? Hush now, son. Don't want to wear out those valuable vocal cords, do we? Here, have some ice cream. Oh, oh no, Mr. Huckleberry, thanks. I really must. Well, go on, give your tonsils a taste bud sensation. Uh, I want the same, Mr. Huckleberry. No, thanks. Well, uh, suit yourself. Anything you want, boy. There you go, son. Hank, I have big plans for you. I see a giant televised concert transmitted by satellite to the four corners of the world, featuring every big name in the business on top of the bill. Yours truly. What do you say? Oh, I say yippy dippy yankee doodle tootie fruity. <laughs> Fantastic! Ah, oh boy. Organize it for Friday. Spare no expense. Sky's the limit. Yes, sir, Mr. Huckleberry. Leave everything to me. Uh, this is going to be the event of the millennium. Publicity will be humongous. My ice cream will be on everybody's lips. Forget Clastonbury. This is Huckleberry! Yee-haw! I can't believe I've organized all this. 80,000 people out there in the audience. Another hundred million watching on TV. Uh, uh, oh. oh, Katie, will you relax? <laughs> Old Hank here is going to blow all the way. <laughs> Song is an absolute winner. Mm -hmm. Everybody loves it. And old Mr. Huckleberry, he's over the moon. You should try some of this stuff, Angelo. It's delicious. Oh, no, no, Mike, I really can't. <laughs> oh, give it here, Mikey. I'm shaking like a jelly. A spot of ice cream should go down a treat. <laughs> What's the matter, Katie? A trifle nervous. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> okay, son, it's showtime. <laughs> oh, let me out on Mr. H.B. I'm a rare and a go. Yeah, now, hold your horses. I want all the folks to see you eating my ice cream when you step out there on that stage. Oh, Mr. Huckleberry, I'm real sorry, but I can't. Hey, listen to Mr. Huckleberry, will you? Katie, please don't make me. I can't. What in tarnation is the problem here? Crowd's going nuts out there. No problem. I'll sort this out if I have to personally jam it down his gullet myself. Now don't fret, folks. Hank is on his way. OK. Take the spoon, get out there, and look like you're enjoying it. Katie, I really can't. I'm sorry. Angelo, we have come this close to pulling off the biggest PR stunt in the history of frozen desserts. Don't let me down now just for the sake of a wee nibble of Neapolitan. But you Eat don't... Eat the wrong stuff, will you? <laughs> Eh, that wasn't so bad, was it? Not yet. Uh, what do you mean, not yet? 
Well, it's just that I'm allergic to ice cream. What? Yeah. And I never know what effect it's going to have upon me. Sometimes I get terrible spots. <laughs> Sometimes I get terrible wind. And once I completely lost son, my... Son, son, it's time to go. Oh. Here we go, then. Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> hell a boy. Flash and keep. Wave a paw at the nice people. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? Here's Hank. Come on up here, son. Come on up. What's wrong? Why isn't he singing? Maybe he's lost his voice. Oh, no. Something would go wrong. I just knew it. If only we'd gotten to mime this stupid song. The tape. What tape? The tape Angela recorded for Mr. Huckleberry. Ah, the tape. The tape. The tape. Oh. Ah, there's a machine there. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Huckleberry, Huckleberry, put a cherry. Huckleberry, Huckleberry. It's too far. It needs to be slower. at the rodeo. Stood alone, you held a cold pistachio. Hank, what's happening? I Stop fooling around! Raisin, hot fudge, not someday. Speed it up, speed it up! Okay, okay, I'm doing it, I'm doing it! I'm a tub of my favorite grub from the good old USA. I won't forget when we first met at the rodeo. You stood alone, you held a cold pistachio. No! Like I've blown it big time, guys. It wasn't your fault. I should never have tried to use you like that, Angelo. And I'm really, really sorry about the ice cream. That's all right, Katie. I'll get it. <laughs> yeah, gang. Katie Andrews is out of a job. Mr. Huckleberry. Hey, where do you sign off to after the show? Well, I thought, you know, with that disaster. Disaster? What disaster? The phones haven't stopped ringing. Everybody thought that was the funniest thing they'd ever seen on TV. But this thing is going to run and run. Publicity, be off the scale. <laughs> Thinking up a goofy scheme like that. The boy's a genius. Thanks a bunch, Mr. Huckleberry. 